Welcome everyone. Today we are going to deal with the GK section of the ALIT exam that you just gave very, very recently. I'm very, very happy with the response that I've got from most of the students because they found the GK section to be very easy. Having said that, there were a couple of questions which were a little moderate right? Not that easy. And uh, you should have ideally attempted those only and only if you knew them. And this is not a very, very big thing. This happens in each and every competitive examination. time bombs And we should ideally just like not attempt the ones that we are not sure about. So let's start off with the discussion. The very first one is your National Human Rights Day is celebrated on. Very, very simple, 10th December. You've done a lot of dates, you've done a lot of themes, right? You've done them over and over again, and this one was rather simple, right? 11th December is when you went for the paper and they're asking you why 10th December is important. I'm not saying that that's a trend, but that is something that you can keep in mind, not only for the next day, but also for your CLAT examination, right? Okay. Then comes your how many youth world titles in chess have been won by the Grandmaster Pragnanda? Now, this is the question that I was talking about. One of the questions wherein, you know, you either know it or you don't know it. In case you knew it, that is all right. In case you did not know it, then you should have idly left this particular question. Now, uh, why have they asked you a question on chess? This should not come as a surprise to you. Chess has been very, very important. In fact, even in your CLAT sample paper, there was an entire passage dedicated to this, right? And that has happened after such a long time that CLAT has, you know, given you a, a passage just on the basis of chess. And of course, ALIT does deal with sports, but itna zada hame nahi pata tha, lekin because of the fact ki hum logo ne sample paper se dekh liya, to thankfully most of the questions we have done in class. Now this question, uh, some of the you know students that came up to me and they said nahi, ye two hona chahiye, but actually the answer is three. 2013, 2015, 2019. Right? These three years were the one where our Pragnanda has won the youth world title. So there are three youth world titles that he has So अगर आता था तो ठीक है अगर नहीं आता था तो आइडली छोड़ देना चाहिए था ये तो बहुत ही लवली क्वेश्चन आई एम सो ग्लैड ये क्वेश्चन आ गया आल्सो वेरी वेरी ग्लैड बिकॉज़ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इट राइट एलिट वन लाइनर्स जब हम लोग रिवीजन कर रहे थे सो इफ यू रिमेंबर मानिका बत्रा वन द ब्रोंज मेडल इन एशिया कप टेबल टेनिस टूर्नामेंट इन बैंकॉक थाईलैंड दिस वाज समथिंग दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डेल्ट विद सो दिस क्वेश्चन शुड हैव बीन very simple for you right and the answer here is manika batra so that is what i'm saying i mean this time around at least you know in the gk section it wasn't as if uh, most of the questions were like oh my god ye kya gaya and so your preparation was great and your performance has been even better right so after winning the gold medal in olympics um yeah, after winning the gold medal in Olympics, Neera Chopra has also won the javelin throw in. So this is like a screenshot from your GK Perfect, wherein we spoke about the Diamond League, right? This is from your ALIT One Liners, where again, we spoke about the Diamond League and Neera Chopra, right? Uh, you may have, I don't think you would have had an issue with the fact that it is not Commonwealth since he did not participate this time. And so hence the answer should be Diamond League. Yes, very, very simple question. Let's go on to the next one. Now, um, this particular question, the first Indian to win medal in Olympics badminton, the answer is Saina Nehwal. A very, very simple question, a thing that everyone should be proud of and would have actually known in case you wouldn't have known about it. Ideally, it would have been easier, it would have been wiser to not attempt this particular question, right? So this is a clear-cut example of whatever is in the current, the static becomes important, right? We keep saying this, we keep utilizing this line again and again in our classrooms, and this question is a testament to that fact. Now, the next one is... Which among the following states have admitted um, more foreign tourists in 2021? And, you know, uh, the answer is Maharashtra. Okay, we've spoken about this in class and we've discussed it and a lot of you were like, Acha, Gujarat hona chahiye tha, right? But the answer here is Maharashtra. Okay, very simple question. Let's go on to the next one. Now, 
IMF has approved a loan of US dollar 2.9 billion to which country ab ye to har ek ko aata hoga everybody would be knowing about this now you have to understand sri lanka is very very important even from your clad perspective all right uh, the political crisis as well as the economic crisis now owing to the fact that we have been become the biggest lenders to sri lanka right we've topped even china so because of that also it is important rajiv gandhi's uh, the convicts in rajiv gandhi assassination case you know very recently they have been released ag panari wala and all of them so which is why you know in that sense ltte and all of that also becomes important because whatever is in the static uh, whatever is in the current the static becomes important right imf is important kristalina georgeva geeta gopinath so you have to keep all of those things in mind hamban dota port is very very important right so um, this question was the easiest question as per me and we've done this time and time again right so i'm sure most of you have got it correct i hope all of you have got it correct now foreign universities can set up their institutions in here we are talking about the national education policy right we are calling foreign universities ab kya hai ki mujhe agar ye pata bhi nahi hai na to bhi main calculator guess ki agar baat karu na i would have gone for gift city only now why would i have gone why would i have gone for gift city now firstly if you talk about this municipal towns now um if you read and i'm sure you must have at least you must have known the basics about municipalities municipalities mein na kuch standing committees hoti hain unme se ek ho jati hai town area committee town area committee ko town area committee bolte kyun hai ye municipal council ya municipal corporation kyun nahi bani hai because it does have few amenities but it doesn't have a lot of amenities now you're calling a harvard university and you're asking them to set up their base in a place which does not have so many amenities that doesn't make sense right if you talk about district headquarters well in my mind there are certain districts which are doing very very well but then there are certain districts which are not doing that well tabhi to aspirational district program bana hai to aspirational district program bana hai to isme aap ye nahi likh rahe ki few डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर्स आप कह रहे हो सारे डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर्स ये भी मेरे को सही नहीं लगा है ना कट कट के ये मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटी एंड गिफ्ट सिटी के बीच में मेरे को थोड़ा सा डाउट आ रहा है फिर गुजरात आ गया मेरे दिमाग में आना लाइक यार वहां पे तो बहुत सारे इन्वेस्टर्स आ रहे हैं यू नो एंटायर सिटी हैज बीन मेड एन एंटायर एरिया हैज बीन डेडिकेटेड जस्ट सो दैट यू नो मोर एंड मोर फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट कैन कम अप सो हेंस गिफ्ट सिटी इज द वन विच इज इम्पोर्टेंट एंड आई वुड है वाइडली गॉन विद दैट अगेन दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन या फिर आता है या फिर नहीं आता है लेकिन अगर इतना थोड़ा आपका नॉलेज है अगर योर बेस इज वेरी वेरी राइट यू वुड हैव gone for it and you would have gotten correct theek hai now this question is so simple not only have we covered this in your gk perfect we've also covered this in your classrooms we've also covered this in the youtube session and we've covered this very very recently in the one liners that we did for dedicatedly for this exam yes so i'll just show you like a screenshot from that this is your the class ppt wherein we spoke about vikram s the the rocket which has been launched by skyroot aerospace yes um agar kahin se koi problem hoti to kuch bachon ko ye hota ki skyroot kar diya ya vikram s karna hai wo aise bachche hote who wouldn't have really looked at the question they would have gotten super excited and they would have been like ha ma'am ne padha hai skyroot aerospace so they are not asking you the name of the company that has launched this particular log rocket they are asking you the name of the rocket and vikram s is you know to commemorate vikram sarabhai who is the founder of isro bahut baar kiya hai some kids also came up to me and they were like vikrant s and we we had a huge laugh about this ki sari cheeze vikrant nahi hoti right so this is vikram s bahut simple question you would have known it phir se ye wala question ye jo hai ye to bahut hi simple ho gaya right in fact uh, yeah okay let's go here ये ये अरुण गोयल वाला बाद में आएगा थोड़ी देर में आएगा है ना ये भी हमने किया है सो वोटर्स डे की अगर हम बात करें वेरी सिंपल दिस डजेंट कम एज अ सरप्राइज दैट यू नॉट देयर वुड हैव बीन अ क्वेश्चन ऑन इलेक्शंस ओइंग टू द फैक्ट दैट राज्यसभा के कुछ स्टेट्स की इलेक्शन प्रेसिडेंट इलेक्शन वाइस प्रेसिडेंट का इलेक्शन विधानसभा लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज की इलेक्शन राइट चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर अपॉइंट हुआ है इलेक्शन कमिश्नर अपॉइंट हुआ है 
पंकज त्रिपाठी इज बिकम द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ ईसीआई मतदाता जंक्शन के बारे में हमने पढ़ा है विद ऑल इंडिया रेडियो सो ये सब हमने किया है बहुत बार किया है बहुत बढ़िया तरीके से किया है सो so, यहाँ पे आ गया आपका फाउंडेड ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जनवरी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एंड दैट इज वॉट इज द आंसर आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू वुड है राइट लेट्स गो अड नाउ देन कम्स अ नोबेल पीस प्राइस इसको भी हम लोगों ने पूरा का पूरा यू नो तोड़ मड़ोड़ के ये पूरा थीसिस कर लिया नोबेल प्राइसेस अल्फ्रेड नोबेल कौन था कब मरा कितना पैसा छोड़ा ऑल ऑफ दैट वी हैव डन राइट सो द क्वेश्चन हियर इज द ओनली प्रॉब्लम दैट आई थिंक तब हो सकती है व्हेन यू नॉट रेड द क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली बिकॉज दे आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी टाइप ऑफ नोबेल प्राइज दे टॉक अबाउट द नोबेल पीस प्राइज तो इसको जाके नहीं हमने करना था आंसर इज दिस बेलारूस से है एंड देवर टू अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वन फ्रॉम यूक्रेन वन फ्रॉम Russia, we've done it over here. Center for Civil Liberties and um, Memorial, right? So that was the question. अब ये वाला question तो यार मतलब अगर मेरे को idly ये सबको आता है. ये class में भी हमने किया है. ये आपके G K Perfect में भी है. This is I think uh, those six months वाला I think second volume page number three ninety five. I'm not if I'm not wrong, right? But it is there. And of course we've done it in the class also. The heading of that. Uh, particular slide was single use plastic ban but such a simple question anyone would have gotten it agar class mein bhi nahi aapne suna hoga iske bare mein to agar aap aankhe khol ke you know aage piche agar dekh rahe ho apne city mein apne state mein har jagah holdings lagi hui hai single use plastic ban ki so this is a very very simple question b is the answer let's go ahead the next one is there is a fear that certain nanoplastics would become a part of human food and thereby cause severe harm to the human body now this ppt i have uh, taken it from your sir shubham sir right wherein he has dealt with nanoplastics and uh, the fact that they can de enter in the blood stream and we've discussed about it of course but you know what is the size of one nanometer is something which you would have either known or not known so it's better to idly you know leave such questions in case we don't know the answer but the answer to this question is 10 raised to the power minus 9 meters ठीक है फिर इसके बाद आ जाता है आपका X is the water body that connects Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. Identify X. Now Panama Canal is a very very simple thing, right? But also Strait of Magellan is a water body which connects these two oceans. So the answer should be C over here. You know, um, yeah. So. Common knowledge is Panama Canal, Strait of Magellan. Maybe you would have known it, not known it. The answer should be C, both A and B. Now, अच्छा यहाँ पे भी बिल्कुल सही आंसर के ऊपर आ गया. But let's do it again. The following Indian driver is currently participating in Formula Two series, and so the answer is Jehan Daruwala, right? Um, I think we've also had a discussion over the fact that uh, you know some find him a little arrogant. Arrogant or not, he is representing India and he is doing well. Yes, so that's the answer. Then the next one is. फिर से वही वाला बिल्कुल सही आ गया यार. New election commissioner. Now, इसमें कुछ बच्चों ने क्या गलती की है? सीधा इलेक्शन कमिश्नर किया सीधा राजीव कुमार पे टिक कर दिया दे हैव नॉट आस्ट यू हुज द चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर दे हैव आस्ट यू हुज द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर बट ऑफ कोर्स मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव गॉटन इट करेक्ट बट सम ऑफ यू वी डोंट रीड द क्वेश्चन वी प्रिज्यूम द क्वेश्चन एंड देयर बाय यू नो वी स्टार्ट मार्किंग द रोंग वंस द रोंग ऑप्शंस वी शुडंट रियली डू दैट अब ये पिछली वाली स्लाइड में भी अरुण गोयल का नाम लिखा था यहां पे भी अरुण गोयल का नाम लिखा है बहुत बार हमने किया है इस चीज को सो आई डोंट थिंक this required a lot of uh, time for and it would have been absolutely correct now how many world heritage sites are there in india ye bhi humne kiya 40 world heritage sites in india ye and ye abhi nahi kiya ye to tumne kitni baar kar rakha hai right so hence the answer is 40 very very simple question theek hai fir ye hamare a lit one liner se hai फिर आ गया ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स लेट मी बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई डि नॉट थिंक दैट दे वुड आस्क यू एन इंडेक्स वेर इन द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ इंडिया इज बैड राइट बट आई गेस यू सी दे दे गो इन टू एक्सट्रीमिटीज इधर वी डू परफॉर्म रियली वेल और वी परफॉर्म रियली बैड सो इन दैट केस इवन एनवायरमेंट परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स कम्स टू माइंड कीपिंग दैट अड ऑफकोर्स वी स्टिल डिड इट इट वॉज अ क्वेश्चन एन अ मॉक 
we attempted it and so we obviously knew what was india's rank it was 107 out of 121 this is one of your class ppts made by your sir and so the answer is 107 right now let's go ahead the next one was G20 meeting. G20 meeting ko to bilkul completely kab hui pehli, kab bani, kyun bani, ki, kaun se kaun se members hai, you know, uh, G20 Troika kya hota hai, G20 Sherpa kaun hota hai, all of that we have done. In fact, even ki ab logo jo hum logo ne banaya hai, jo theme hai hamari G20 ki, now that India has the presidency, all of that was done. This is uh, from the GK Perfect late, latest edition, that, the one that you had got very recently. Bali Summit of G20 is the answer for this particular question. All right. Very simple questions. National education policy. Now, national education policy, wala ye jo question hai na, I uh, personally think that this question is, there is something wrong with it. I'll tell you why. So, uh, Press Information Bureau, as well as UGC ka website, if you see, no? So, they're talking about a higher educational institute that they are going to make for all types of education except for legal, except for law and medicine. Well, that is true. They have written that. But uh, the fact that there would be a higher educational institute that would be made is not the entire policy. You know? The policy is talking about many, many other things. In fact, the policy is also talking about legal education, wherein how legal education should be very robust and it should keep in mind globalization and X, Y, Z. In fact, MBBS ki book Hindi mein translate karke hum logo ne Madhya Pradesh mein introduce ki hai and that was also keeping in mind the national education policy. There are law schools which are 100% national education policy compliant, right? So keeping that in mind, I don't really think this is a very right question to ask. But of course, like, you know, maybe we were... We missed out on the fact that we are just talking about higher educational institution. Of course, there's NEET and there's, you know, there was an entire problem wherein they said, oh, don't talk about us and, you know, you only deal with technical education. But ideally, I mean, I don't think this question should have been asked. None hona tha. Is the answer waise wo A and B bolenge? Keeping in mind this. But I still believe that the policy is much, much bigger than the fact that there should be a higher educational institute. Okay. Now, the next one is your ha. Huh. Before adopting real as its currency, Qatar's currency was equivalent to which foreign currency? The answer here is Indian national rupee. Don't attempt this question if you don't know it, right? This is a way to static oriented. People who love economy are the ones who would have actually gone and seen there are pegged currencies and then there are free floating currencies, so on and so forth. Uh, where did I find this answer? Uh, you can also go check it out. This is Qatar ki uh, foreign currency ke bare mein. What is their policy? They have an official website. Wherein it has been clearly say, stated that before 1966, they used to, you know, um, take it to the value of Indian national rupee. But however, in 1966, we devalued our currency by 35% is when they said, no, we are not going to um, make it equivalent to Indian national rupee. So the answer here is Indian national rupee. Again, either I know it or I don't know it. It's better to skip it. There will always be a question. Even in CLAD, you will find some of the other question, which is there just so that you can get a negative mark. Don't attempt it. Simple as that, right? Um, then the next one is air pollution. Now, ye wala question to yaar, kisi bhi NCRT ki kitab aap utha lo, kahin pe bhi agar acid rain ki baat hoegi, to Taj Mahal to hoga hi hoga, right? So, as a result of air pollution and sewage, the dash is reported to be a to be turning yellow, built in the 17th century. It is one of the seven wonders of the world. And so, the answer is Taj Mahal, right? Um, yeah. Now, the next one is who among the following rely on medicines to cure mental illnesses? Now, firstly, this is not a very random question. I'll tell you why. There are two aspects to it. Firstly, it is for the first time this year that our uh, government spoke, gave a dedicated budget to a policy with respect to mental illness, where they said that there should be tele uh, health services provided to people who suffer from mental illness. That's A, B. Let's talk about transgenders, right? For transgenders, 
um, of course, there's an act that was made in 2019, but way before that in 2016, they were trying to make another act for the protection of transgenders in our community, wherein it was mentioned that, you know, you should, uh, to get a certificate of identity, whether you are a transgender or not, you should ideally go and visit a psychiatrist. And there was a lot of issue that the transgender community had with this particular thing and rightly so because it is not a mental illness to be a transgender right now the question that is asked over here is very basic and i'm guessing all of you knew about it right now psychologist is somebody who's going to use talk therapy to help you with your issues on the other hand if we talk about psychiatrists they are the ones who have the authority to give you certain medications so the answer over here should be psychiatrist all right. Now, the next one is your Elon Musk. Uh, everybody knows that he's very, very important. And yeah, whatever. He tries, he, he gets his importance in one way or another. So Elon Musk, ke mein pucha ki, uh, which of the following entities is not controlled by Elon Musk? And so the answer is way more. Some people would have known it, others wouldn't have known it because we focused more on Twitter and blue tick uh, uh, certification and all of that, right? But uh, we we'll, that is all that there is to know about him, actually. Then, if we talk about fundamental duties, now why has this been asked? Pehli baat to har ghar te ranga. Har ghar te ranga mein kya hai? Respect your national flag. That's the first fundamental duty. Well, that's a diff different deal altogether ki prevention of insult to national honors act ke karan wo humari legal duty bhi ban jati hai. Hence, enforceable in nature. Secondly, uh, the punch prun that was taken by Narendra Modi towards the Amrit Kaal of our independence where amongst those five uh, uh, pruns one of them was to abide by our duties. And so hence, we spoke about this in class that there are fundamental duties and also there are legal duties. Now, with respect to fundamental duties, the first question, so they're asking you, what is correct? Incorrect uh, correct answer incorrect or correct. So fundamental duties... Uh, were a part of the original constitution absolutely incorrect. This was added by virtue of the 42nd Amendment Act of 1976. It was taken from the USSR Constitution. Swan Singh Committee, first 10, Isme add hoye the, or jo 11th wala tha, that was added by virtue of the 86th Amendment Act of 2002, right? Wow, this doesn't look like 11th at all. Anyway, so this is talking about parents and guardians ka duty, you know, to take care of children who are below the age of uh, six years. And if I have to really talk about another thing, the national curriculum framework for early education also comes to mind, right? So because of all of those uh, reasons, this question was asked. It wasn't a very random question. So they were a part of the original constitution. No, a person can be sued mainly, merely for failure to abide by the fundamental duties. Why? If it's like that, so fundamental duty karke ek aur hai, that says you should always have a scientific temperament. Imagine going to jail because you're not thinking scientifically. Not possible, right? So hence, which of the following is correct? Neither one nor, neither A nor B is the right answer. Now, the next one is the first Indian to have won uh, all India, in all England badminton championship. Prakash Padukone, uh, a question that you may or may not have known about. In case you know about this sport a lot, then obviously you will come. If you don't come, then you will That is okay. You could have left it if you did not know it. Right? There are also many such questions that you will know. Now, this is something that we spoke about in class wherein, you know, the PM of Finland was seen dancing with her friends and how people should not make a huge uh, deal about it. You know, what if she's a prime minister? I clearly remember the discussion that we were having. Um, very, very simple question, right? Um, so the answer is Finland. All right. Now, the next one is present chairman of the National Human Rights Commission. See, Shurubi Human Rights uh, Day se hua hai, and National Human Rights Commission ka present chairman pooch liya hai. This is a PPT from your class. We did it in the class. And the answer is Justice A.K. Mishra. So, very nice. Ye bhi aapka ho gaya hoga. I'm 100% sure ki ye hua hoga, right? Theek hai. Actually, we have done this whole thing in the Jayanti Patnaik, Rekha Sharma, but thankfully, in ke wajay se, ye hume aagya. Yes? Okay. And uh, how many amendments have been made? 
time and time again we've done it because in the previous CLAT paper also they had asked you about the 102nd Amendment Act of 2018, if you remember. So 105 amendments, very, very simple, right? We know all the important amendments also, right? 95th related to Anglo-Indian, 99th related to NJAC, 100th related to India, Bangladesh land boundary, 101st GST, 102nd National Commission for Backward Classes, 103rd EWS, right? Now, EWS ke upar judgment bhi hai, jo last wala hamara question bhi hai. 104th, wherein we extended the reservation of SCST, but did not talk about Anglo-Indians, right? And 105th, wherein they said the center as well as the state can identify other backward classes in, uh, both of them can identify it, right? It can't just happen only at the central level. And so we come to the very last question. Supreme Court upheld the constitutional validity of EWS reservation. And the answer is Jan Hit Abhyan versus Union of India, also done in your class. So, um, yeah, that's that from my end. Please keep up the josh and keep studying for your CLAT. And I'm sure, um, I don't know whether it will be as easy as this, but I do understand that you have prepared very well. This should have given you a lot of confidence, right? But having said that, confidence means that we don't have to leave everything. Okay, keep uh, studying and do very well. And I will see you once you're done with your CLAT. Thank you so much.